Hey guys, so as you may know, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is scheduled to be released sometime in 2020, which considering that it's September now, that could be pretty soon. I figured it would be a good idea to make a video just kind of like recapping everything that we know about Security Breach so far, uh, to, so that we can get everybody up to speed on all the information that's come out. So first I'm going to be talking about what we know from Help Wanted, which is the FNAF VR game, which I may be getting a VR headset soon, so I might actually be able to play it myself. Then we're going to look at all the teaser images that, that have been released, and we're going to end with a deep dive break breakdown of the trailer that was recently released during a Sony PS5 live event. All right, let's start by talking about Help Wanted. So Help Wanted really introduced us to a whole new era of Five Nights at Freddy's lore. It gave us Glitch Trap, who appears slowly as we collect the 16 tapes that are scattered throughout the game. Uh, the tapes describe where Glitch Trap uh, came from. Supposedly, uh, he was some malicious code that attached itself to the game after uh, they were scanning some old animatronic chips. This has led people to conclude that this is William Afton, aka Purple Guy, aka... At the end of Help Wanted, uh, we believe that the player is possessed or controlled in some way by Glitch Trap. The character we play as in Help Wanted is Vanny. She's either possessed or controlled in some way by Glitch Trap. Uh, and as the teasers reveal, she's the main antagonist for Security Breach. Let's start looking at some of those teasers. So in this first one, we have the mall that Security Breach takes place in. We know from some other leaks that came out that this is called the Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. That's a mouthful. We can see that there's laser tag, a pizzeria, and an arcade. It also shows us our four main animatronics for this game on stage. From left to right, we have Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Freddy, and two new characters, Glamrock Monty and Glamrock Roxanne. So this next teaser is a close-up of Glamrock Freddy, but there's actually two variations to this teaser. In the second variant, uh, you can see there's like the silhouette of Vanny in the top left corner. Uh, holding what appears to be a knife. Well, we know that it's a knife because of this next teaser, which shows Vanny holding a knife. The text at the bottom says "obey," referencing how she is being controlled by Glitch Trap. This teaser shows up. A, uh, this teaser shows up a close. Uh, this teaser shows us a. Uh, this teaser shows up a. This teaser shows us a close. That's a, that's a tongue twister. This teaser shows us a close up of Glamrock Monty. This one is a close up of Glamrock Chica, and this one is a close up of Glamrock Roxanne. Not too much lore to unpack here or anything, but it is really cool to get another look at these characters before we get to actually see them in the game. Here we get to see the Night Guard, who we're probably going to be playing as in Security Breach. Uh, we don't have her name yet, uh, but there is text at the bottom of the screen that says protect. Keep that in mind. I'm going to talk about what that could mean uh, once we get to talking about the trailer, which is right now. Trailer time. There is so much to unpack in this trailer, so let's just, let's just jump right in. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. So already we're only like five seconds into the trailer and we're seeing a lot of really exciting stuff. It appears that this shot is taken in some sort of warehouse area, as you can see by all the all the striped like caution things on the floor. The, uh, there's a forklift, the boxes, and if you look in the back, you can see there's what appears to be either like a water tank or a gas tank, something like that. It's got one of the logos for Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex on it. Another really awesome thing that I wanted to mention about this trailer is that the entire thing is rendered in engine. So what that means is that everything you see in the trailer, that's what the final game is going to actually look like. Guys, we are getting graphics that look this good and this clear. Uh, supposedly in some sort of free mode in a FNAF game. This is really, really exciting. Uh, oh yeah, and there's also a voice that plays throughout the trailer. It really goes without saying that this is Vanny. So in this part she says, Gregory, your friends are worried about you. Notice that her voice is like kind of choppy and metallic. I'm not sure exactly how to describe it, but you know what I mean. The point is that this is either not a human talking or this is just what it sounds like when you get possessed by a game. I guess. Since Vanny was supposedly a beta tester for Help Wanted and Help Wanted is a VR game, I kind of wonder if Vanny has like a haunted like VR headset on under the mask. Anyway, throughout the trailer, she's trying to convince some kid, this Gregory guy, to stop hiding. And we can hear Gregory sniffling and breathing heavily like a little baby. This leads me to believe that our goal as the night guard is to try to protect, eh, see what I did there? Uh, these kids from Vanny. Anyway, I think I've talked long enough for four seconds of trailer, so let's move on. They're here with me. Please come out. That's her, that's Vanny, did you see that? Of course you did. It's the only thing in the frame that's moving and it's a 
pretty obvious color contrast with the floor. But there she is! Anyway, Vanny says, they're here with me, please come out. Uh, which is not exactly reassuring. I mean, I wouldn't trust Vanny with my kids. I mean, if I had kids, which I don't think I do. But yeah, either Vanny is bluffing or she's already killed a couple kids. Whoops! <laughs> Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. Again, so much in just another couple of seconds. The way Vanny's voice glitches when she says it was just a glitch absolutely solidifies that she is either not human or she's possessed. She also says it won't happen again, which... In other news, is that a new animatronic? It looks kind of weird, like it's some sort of crescent moon thing. Regardless, he's not really giving me any good guy vibes. The way he stands on top of the... the... What's this thing called? I literally tried Googling it and I can't get a clear answer. Drop a comment if there's a name for this thing and you happen to know what that name is. But yeah, super creepy movement from this guy and the glaring red eyes are a very spooky touch. Another thing I don't want to not mention, uh, the rack on the right side of the frame, it seems like it's got some bags on it. I've seen some people say that these bags have bodies in them because there's blood on the floor next to them. It's really hard to tell if this is actually the case or if the floor just looks darker there because of the shadow from the trash bags. So it's, it's really hard for me to like be sure about that, uh, but I figured I would mention it anyway. Oh, and before I forget to say, this is the kitchen. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? Guys, there are no words to describe how badly I want to play laser tag here. Seriously, look at this place. Anyway, Vanny keeps trying to coerce the kid, yada, yada, yada. It won't happen again. It was just, just a glitch. glitch. I'd just like to point out the irony in her saying it won't happen again. It was just a glitch, as if she won't ever glitch again as her voice is actively glitching. Hold on though, normal people don't glitch when they do something on accident. The word choice kind of points to Vanny somehow being an animatronic, or there was maybe another animatronic that glitched and now Gregory is hiding from them as Vanny tries to lure them out. Again, we really don't know much right now, it's hard to say. I do really want to mention though, the lighting in this place, the reflections, it all looks so good. A plus to steel wool for these graphics, just gorgeous. You'll also notice that there's some framed photographs hanging on the wall in the top right. I'm not really sure what they are or why they're there. It's, it's, it's not clear enough for you to make out what's really in them, but they are there, so I thought I should mention that. Also notice the bars in front of the Glamrock gift store. The mall is closed, which explains why Vanny is so comfortable being out and about and murderous. But why are there kids here after dark? That's not quite adding up. I'm sure we'll get some clarification at some point in the future though. And on the right hand side of the ticket booth, you'll notice that there is something there. Something. That's all I've got. Kinda looks like an animatronic. I don't know. Very mysterious though. I've seen people try to speculate about what this might be, but even if you like blow the images up as much as you can and you increase the brightness and everything, it's it's just not, you, you just can't make out what it is. It's not possible. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. So that Gregory B. Still 100% has to be Glamrock Freddy. You know it's an animatronic because of the, you know, the same thing Vanny's doing with her voice. Metally, whatever. But if any animatronic is gonna talk like that, come on, it's the bear. Which I guess means that as a security guard we aren't alone in trying to save the kids. The Glamrock animatronics seem to be sentient into some capacity and looking to help. There's really no way for us to know right now. We also get treated to a jump scare from Vanny, which if you're not expecting it is a real surprise. So in addition to all of this, on the PS5 blog about the trailer, they include a little blurb that's like an advertisement for the Pizzaplex. Hey kids, do you want pizza? Well, Fazbear Entertainment has spared no expense in developing the world's most extreme family fun center, Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. At three stories tall, it's the flashiest, raddest, rockingest, safest disclaimer Fazbear Entertainment cannot guarantee guest safety pizzeria the universe has ever seen. Of course, Freddy and the band are excited to meet you. Utilizing the latest in animatronic technology, you can actually party with the stars themselves. 
So on your next birthday, let Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex make you a superstar. So from this, we can extract that the Pizza Plex has three stories. Wow, that's a big building to explore. And the way they talk about you being able to actually party with the stars themselves is interesting. Is there some sort of AI that allows these animatronics to uh, interact with the kids more seamlessly? They're clearly not the animatronics of the past that we're used to in any case. I think that covers pretty much everything we know about Security Breach so far, all the teasers and everything. My prediction is that we're going to have a free roam game where we play as the night guard and have to protect the kids from vannies somehow. It's really hard to say what else we can expect right now, but that just makes me all the more excited to see where this goes. The game will first be released as an exclusive for PC, PS4, and PS5, and it will Will remain exclusive to those platforms for at least the first three months. After that it'll probably get ported to Xbox, but whether or not it'll work on mobile is really going to depend on what the gameplay is like. The PS5 is releasing on November 12th, so Security Breach will probably not be coming out before then. It may even release alongside the PS5 on November 12th. In any case, we can probably expect uh, a few more teasers and maybe even a second trailer before the game actually drops. Let me know if there was anything I missed in the comments and let me know what you think of all this. Drop a like if if you're excited as I am, which I, I doubt it, I'm really excited. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. It's an easy and free way to support the channel. Follow me on Twitch so you don't miss when I go live. I've been really busy with school lately, so it's been hard for me to find time to stream. But we are planning a 24-hour charity stream for November 14th. There will be more details to come on that as we get things figured out, so hopefully pretty soon I'll be able to get like an announcement video just talking about that. Also, follow me on Twitter and join the Discord server. Links for all of that in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!